So now that I have uh, Magic Lantern installed in my Canon uh, T4i, it is uh, currently the uh, default uh, operating system on the uh, camera. It is uh, riding on top of the Canon uh, camera uh, software firmware, that's it. So uh, to access the uh, Magic Lantern, the uh, way to access it is to push the trash can icon button and it brings you right into the uh, main menus here. So uh, your first step menu is your uh, basic uh, camera operating, your white balance, your ISO, your shutter speed, your aperture, your picture style, exposure, uh, exposure lock and presets and override and the uh, exposure sims. And then uh, on the bottom of the screen there, you get the uh, definition of what it means or uh, what, it, what the menu is supposed to be doing. So as we go through, it, it shows you everything that you, you need to know. And then uh, some, some of the stuff is only available for uh, photography. And uh, it will tell you. And of course, if you're in uh, M mode, manual mode, which is, uh, you know, my preferred uh, uh, main uh, operating uh, system on the camera. So you have full control of uh, what the camera is doing your uh, exposure and your uh, white balance and your ISO and your uh, aperture. So it's uh, a little bit more advanced, uh, you know, it, you got more control over the uh, camera than, you know, auto, which works perfectly good, but, you know, there's certain situations where you need manual uh, to uh, control the camera. And then our, our next menu is, uh, is now we start getting into uh, the uh, magic of the uh, mag Magic Lantern uh, menu system here. So as you can see, there's a, a bunch of them. So uh, on the camera, you know, on, this, on the live screen that you see on the small screen on the camera, you get uh, a bunch of information when the camera is operating in uh, movie mode. And there's a, a bunch of stuff that we can uh, select. You can select the uh, zebras the uh, zebra sprites, uh, stripes will show you if your picture is over or underexposed. So that's, that's a big help. And then our uh, focus peak here is uh, it deciphers, uh, you know, what you want to uh, have your focus uh, peak, peak detection on. So you got the, your filter bias or bias. And uh, so you can select several different uh, packages here. So if you want strong edges or balanced or fine details, and it tells you all on the bottom of the screen what it uh, should be uh, used for. And then you got the display types, thresholds. So you can set the uh, thresholds if, you, if you're really into this stuff, you could really have a blast with this so uh, a lot of you know a lot of stuff on here is you know only the real die hard professional would really get into it and then you got uh, a bunch of bunch of stuff here histograms if you really that's when you're really advanced you really get into the histograms of the uh, of the picture waveforms and the vector scopes And then you can change your bit rates and you can change the way, uh, you know, what your recording key is. So if you don't want, uh, you know, to press the actual button, you can change it. So you can have, uh, you know, long press and, and several different options here. If on, you have the, you have to hold the half shutter pressed for one second because the record key is actually disabled. So you actually use a different button. And then you got gradual exposures here. And you got the frames per second override. So if you don't want to run at 30, you know, 30 uh, frames a second, you can uh, drop it down to, uh, you know, 2.5. And you got, 
your frames per second for low light situations and uh, you know you can adjust your rolling shutter so all you got to do is just click on things and and then uh, you get uh, you know all kinds of stuff that you want here and then a lot of this stuff is you know for the uh, diehards that know what all this stuff means And then you can put the HDR video if you want. So you can uh, have different modes here. And then there's some other stuff in here. Image fine tuning and movie crop mode. And then you can have a, a specific crop mode if you want. Or you can have it all off. And then we get into uh, movie tweaks here. And then uh, you can have different... Uh, uh, your time settings on the screen to tell you uh, your standards, your elapsed time that you've recorded. And then you can change for the uh, what's remaining on the card or remaining four gigabyte blocks or you don't need to have any. And then you got the movie logging here. And then uh, the biggest reason for me to get this piece of software is the movie restart. So when this is on, uh, this uh, automatically restarts the uh, recording mode. So once it hits its 29 minutes and 59 seconds, it, uh, it continues to record. You know, it, it's, it stops and then restarts it. So you get, you know, about maybe a second or two that, you know, when, when it's doing that process, but... A lot of people won't even notice. So uh, when you when you are operating it and you see it, uh, you know, approaching the time limit, you'll see the little message come up that says uh, uh, recording has stopped. But then it, and then as you look on, you can see the counter still uh, going up. So the uh, when this is uh, uh, enabled, once you get to 29:59, then it you know it rolls over to 30 minutes, and then it keeps going up to 60 minutes. And then after that, the, uh, the recorder uh, restarts to a uh, zero again. And then uh, you got the record and, and standby. That gives you, it gives you a little, uh, a little uh, display whether you're recording or you're in standby. And then, uh, you know, because a lot of people, they, they'll have some kind of monitor watching the, uh, you know, what the camera's doing. So sometimes they don't always notice... Uh, you know, the record or standby, or they forget to hit the uh, record button. So if you got like a red cross out, it puts a big X right across the screen. So uh, you'll be uh, hard pressed not to see that. But uh, usually uh, if, if you got the monitor or you're looking at the camera, it's usually not a problem. And then we got some other settings here. And then as we uh, move on into the... Uh, menus here we got the different shooting uh, parameters here so there's a bunch of stuff here that uh, you know you can get into for the uh, more advanced uh, you know photographers or videographers and stuff like that and like I said some of this stuff is uh, you know only works in the uh, photography mode so if you're taking stills some of these uh, features only work for stills. And then we got even more uh, more stuff here for your focus points, you know, because uh, uh, you can probably set this up so the uh, you don't get so much hunting and, and stuff like that because that's the biggest uh, downfall of the uh, Canon cameras, is, is uh, especially the DSLRs. They have a tendency to... They constantly want to focus all the time. You know, they, they pick something, and sometimes you have to uh, force the camera. And that's why, like, in one of my earlier videos, that you know, you can turn off that uh, live uh, constant focus. So, uh, you know, you pretty much, before you hit the record button, uh, you set your focus, and then it, it won't continue to hunt. It just stays uh, at its fixed point, but the only problem is if you know if you want to show the camera something 
uh, you know, close up to it, then you got to force force a uh, a refocus on it. You know, and stuff to keep in mind when you're when you got it in manual uh, focus mode. And then you got your uh, your live uh, view. This is your uh, display on the camera. So uh, you got different parameters here for uh, you know uh, setting up your uh, your uh, live screen. And then you can change the you can you can kill the uh, Canon GUI. So that's the the menu systems and then the screen layout. You can change the color scheme if you want, your image position. And if you got the camera, you know, mounted upside down, of course the image is going to be upside down, but then you can uh, put the image to uh, right side up. And then your orientation and your auto uh, mirroring and your uh, live view crazy colors and force HDMI to the VGA. And then you got uh, a bunch of stuff here for uh, configuring the camera and your uh, your recording and, and saving options here. And, in, and there's just a just a bunch of stuff in here that you can just uh, go in here and play with. Whether you want to go into the uh, setting up on how things look on your uh, monitor and stuff like that. Then you can set the uh, power save so when you're recording long durations and you really are sure you're not going to be having to uh, play with the camera, then you can set it up to uh, have the, uh, the live uh, monitor on the uh, camera shut off so you can get a little bit more recording time or have the camera run for a longer period of time on battery power. And then uh, this this setup right here, which is I already uh, set, it gives you all the uh, all your uh, parameters on what you want to see, you know, like the uh, VU meter, and you can have it set up when you have the uh, zebra stripes on, and your peak focus, and your uh, a couple of other little things that you can have displayed while the uh, camera is running, and then it gives you all the uh, uh, different stuff for the uh, lens info. You can set it up to have it in uh, what the camera tells you, because uh, the camera will tell you the uh, display units for the for the distance. So you can have it in millimeters, centimeters, or you can have it foot and inches. So we'll set that for foot and inches since we're the uh, imperial scare here. You know? And then you can customize the menus and stuff like that. And then you get into this this stuff here, and this is uh, uh, really advanced stuff in here. This is what all the little uh, camera twerps play with, you know, because they want to uh, play with the uh, with uh, the f different uh, formats of uh, of uh, the uh, picture taking uh, and recording mode and stuff like that. So whether they want to run a, a 1440p or 4K or 2.1K or whatever, whatever they're into, they could get into this stuff and, and just set the camera up. And, and some of this stuff, you know, it, some of it works and some of it is not going to work until, you know, the individual who's, who's actually really getting into this stuff, you know, uh, you know, he, when he has time, he fixes all this stuff and he tweaks it and he gets it to work and stuff like that. And maybe someday this stuff will start getting a little bit more streamlined and he'll just have it like a default setting or something like that. You know, and then you go into any of these uh, modes here. You can just hit the uh, the Q button here and this will tell you what, what it's going to do, what it's supposed to do. And, and stuff like that. And there's just, just just so much in here that you can play with in here. It's, you could you could spend hours just playing with this thing. You know. And then we get into the uh, almost the uh, final uh, menus here. And then you got the uh, memory patches and show console and modules debugging and and stuff like that.
you get the uh, you can get pick up the info on your uh, on your lens like mine is the ef s 18 18 through 55 millimeter f stop 3.5 to 5.6 and then the your focal lens is 7 to 21 inches the lens id and the serial number and the version i guess there's the uh, firmware updates for some of the lenses too that you can uh, that you can play with And then you can dump your ROM and RAM, and you can play with stuff like that. And this one here that says "Don't click me" is don't don't play with that one. <laughs> you can show your CPU usage because sometimes that's uh, when you get into these like the like the last menu there when you're really getting into playing with this. Sometimes you want to play with the, uh, to show what your uh, CPU is doing. Because sometimes if you, uh, you start overloading the uh, CPU, you can cause, uh, you know, write issues to your card and stuff like that. And this is, uh, since this is the uh, use, uh, used camera, this is how many... Uh, this is how many times the uh, shutter has been uh, smashed. So it's been, uh, you know, used 57,000 times. So uh, that's basically how much how a, lot, a lot of these cameras, they uh, decipher their uh, price range is uh, how many times the, uh, how many pictures you've been taking. And then you can, it also shows uh, on the main menu there uh, when you got it in your live mode, you can sh show the uh, temperature of the camera. So usually when the, uh, it gets to about like 51C there, it'll, it'll give you like a, a little warning saying that the camera is starting to get a little warm, you want to monitor it. And then you got your help stuff and, and uh, to uh, tell you uh, tell you what it does and stuff like that. This hasn't been really uh, really uh, worked on too much mode, too much. Uh... But like you know, like I said, a lot of this stuff. There's just one guy that that works on this stuff there, and when he has time, he uh, he plays with this stuff. And this is uh, your recent uh, tweaks, settings that you've been playing with. So, you know, in case you screw up, you can say, what was the last, uh, you know, mentions and, and tweaks that I did? And, you know, I want to go back, you know, so I can put it back to where it was before I, you know, screwed it up completely. And this is just another, uh, there's two menus where you can, uh, it shows you what you've been, what you've been playing with. And then you go back to the... Uh, the first uh, menu there and then just uh, click out but you can see here like on my uh, on the monitor here now there you can see uh, on the top left there your uh, view meter and then you got your uh, temperature and your uh, frame rate that you're running and how many uh, how many gigabytes of uh, of memory you got left and then you got your standby record the uh, symbol there and on the bottom there, it tells you uh, some of your parameters of, what your, of your lens and your camera. So like on mine, it's, uh, it's on the manual on the, uh, I think it's the autofocus. Well, that's the mode. That the, the mode is, uh, tells you the mode there on whether you're on the uh, manual movie. And then if you, if you got different uh, settings there. And then it tells you... Uh, the 20 millimeter it tells you uh, where your uh, zoom is on your uh, on your uh, camera. So, like if I take the uh, lens cap off, it'll sh it'll show you on the bottom of the screen where your lens is. So, like now I got it at the most wide. You know, then as you advance it, it the uh, information starts updating on uh, where you are.
so you can go all the way up to the maximum uh, limit of the, of the lens, so it's 55 millimeters. You know, then you can just, uh, when you start playing with the uh, camera there, then you can uh, let the uh, camera do some of the work. If you choose to put it in auto, so you can see uh, a lot of doost on my uh, front of the uh, cheese grater here. Eventually, I'm going to have to uh, pull this out and uh, give it its yearly cleaning and its yearly uh, Mac OS update. So I got to jump through a couple of hoops since this is uh, a 2010 cheese grater Mac. I have to have a uh, Got to run through a couple of hoops there. So when I install the uh, new software on it, I got to put the original video card in it so I can see the boot loading screen. And then I can go ahead and uh, install a new operating system. And then uh, once it's all booted up and loaded, and I put the uh, card that is supposed to be in it back in. But that's not what this video about and that's going to be in a later another video is uh, me uh, yanking that thing out of there and uh, fooling with it and then we got the you know your additional uh, information on the bottom of the uh, screen there for your uh, for your f-stop and your uh, frames per second and your ISO and your uh, auto white balance or you can choose it for you know whatever white balance you want and then the uh, it's uh, estimating on the uh, approximate measurement. So, you know, if I get closer, it tries to uh, figure out what you're doing. And then you got the, your final two is your, uh, whether you're an autofocus or if you are, you change the lens over to a manual focus at a, tell you if you're in manual so then you can uh, be a real photographer and uh, manually focus the uh, picture and then you got your little battery icon so when it's fully charged it's white when it starts getting to about you know halfway it turns yellow and then it turns red uh, when your battery is getting low and you also see uh, on, on toward the top of the screen the uh, the low battery indicator so uh, that's all the uh, menu systems for uh, for uh, this particular camera I pretty much uh, I played with a couple of things in here but the uh, the most important one for me was to uh, set up the uh, auto record so once it goes above, uh, you know, 29 minutes and 59 seconds, it uh, keeps recording. And it'll keep recording until either the uh, memory card's full or the battery is depleted. So with the uh, current state of the battery that came with the camera, I get about one hour of recording time. Uh, and, and that's uh, with the camera still powered up. So it has a, you know, whatever amount of time left so you can uh, turn it off so you don't get any uh, corruption on the uh, camera uh, memory card so that's that for the for this uh, video a little uh, demonstration of the uh, magic lantern on a Canon T4i maybe uh, someday I'll uh, read up on the forums of what all them uh, really advanced settings do so that you can uh, really uh, produce some, uh, some fantastic uh, videos. So uh, that's it for this video. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Uh,